things Gary does. In the future, there is a robot, number 314, that uh, sorts pies that come down a conveyor belt. All sorts of pies, like apple pies and peach pies and strawberry pies and chocolate pies and coconut pies, all sorts of pies. And they come down the conveyor belt and each day he pushes them to different parts of the conveyor belt so they, they get sorted into the proper boxes and off to the customers. Um, but this, this robot had been sorting pies for so long, 314 has been sorting pies for so long, but he, he's never actually had a pie himself. And this thought today started to drive him absolutely crazy. For some reason today was the day that as he watched each pie go by, he wanted nothing more than to just eat it for himself. Didn't care about the customer today. He just really wanted a pie. And so today, every once in a while, when none of the other robots were looking, he would snatch up a pie and, and stuff it into his mouth. But the thing was, he didn't have much of a mouth. It was just sort of a jaw that would move up and down. And so he never got to taste any of the pie. He would chomp and chomp and chomp and chomp, hoping to taste the delicious pie that he's seen all of the customers eat every day. But it just falls through his jaw and onto the floor so depressingly, and it tinkers and just goes through his entire body, but he tastes none of it. And the poor 314 keeps trying this throughout the day, but it's just not working. And um, at one point, though, he hears a loud bang off to his left, up, up further down the conveyor belt. He looks up and he gets a little worried that maybe someone's on to him, so he, he sticks there and he keeps going and keeps going. But the pressure is starting to build up because he's looking at all these pies, and even though he knows he can't taste it, he just really, really wants one. And they keep going, they keep going, until finally one comes down that is bigger and plumper than one he's ever seen. And he, he just can't, he just wants it so badly, so badly. But it just keeps going and going. But the thing is, he doesn't keep sorting the pies, he just sort of follows the really plump one. He just keeps following it and following it. As it goes through the final conveyor spot and out into the restaurant, he actually walks out of the back room into the restaurant and watches this large pie and he'd be salivating if he had salivary glands. And he'd, he'd just watch the pie go up to the counter and then it goes up immediately onto the counter where someone wants to buy it. They see it so plump and they just want that pie. And so it's a mother and their child and she gets the pie and she's marveling over how large it is and she and her child take it over the table and the whole time 314 is watching, watching. And they sit down at the table and just as the child puts the fork into the pie, 314 just loses it. He rushes the table, picks up the pie, the woman's screaming, the child's crying, and he just stuffs it in his mouth. <laughs> but instead of just the unsatisfactory taste of nothing, he also hears grinding and crunching and scraping and terrible things and his whole body starting to wrench and he's looking down and he sees shards of broken glass, bolts, and all kinds of other metal pieces just going down into his open body and just like totally gumming him up and that's the last thing he sees. Everything goes dark. And everything's dark for a long time. Until 314 opens its eyes again. But it can't move. And it's not moving. And it tries to look around, but it, its head doesn't move either. Just its eyes kind of flicker back and forth. And it looks forward at itself and it focuses. And it sees pies coming at it. Pies along what it would think is its tongue. It's got a long black tongue. And these pies are scooting along the tongue and he realizes that it's it's a conveyor belt and those pies are not cooked but they all come into his mouth and they all file in and then he feels his mouth get very warm and he realizes oh wow I can taste them I can taste them all and he tastes the apple and the peach and the coconut and the strawberries all in his mouth and he can taste them all separately but at the same time and it's just flooding his mind with sensations and he realizes that he's the oven now that he's been rebuilt 
size of the oven. And he gets to taste pies all day, every day. Things done.